uh, going to be talking about the um, presidential fleet. Um, we read um, over the news, we, I think I read on the news that uh, um, they want to spend, the presidency wants to spend 21 billion naira on another presidential um, plane. Um, you ask yourself, uh, anyway, I, I, I think the excuse is that um, the ones, the presidential fleet, some of the uh, plane, planes on the presidential fleet, uh, uh, is um, some of them are, are bad, a sort of, so they need probably serious maintenance or whatever. Now we have, I don't know, I think we have up to four or five, I don't know, I can't remember the last time I, the last count I had in mind was uh, four, four planes on the presidential fleet, but someone told me we have up to, presidential fleet, we have up to eight flights there. Uh, eight uh, uh, planes there. Um, what is the? What do you think, Barry Samantha? What do you think is uh, is this justified or justifiable? Twenty one billion spending another twenty one billion for when we have so many presidential uh, planes on on the presidential fleets. What? <coughs> First of all, let me say that the uh, presidential fleet as a fleet. Yes. They are up to about 18, 18, they are up to about 18 uh, aircraft. Wow. Uh, 18? People mistake, yes, people mistake presidential fleet for just the aircraft that the president flies in. No, it's more than that. There is a whole range of uh, aircraft. Now, well, hold on. Let me ask you then. Um, when you talk of, okay, 18, 18 aircraft in the presidential fleet, now, does it mean that because what I consider as part of the fleet is a plane in the fleet, or that is the plane that are supposed to be in this fleet, are supposed to be planes that the president can actually fly on. If this one doesn't work well, the other they can use the other one. Can, okay. this 18, hold on, let me ask you, let me land, please. You mean these 18, these 18 numbers of aircrafts, the president can actually fly on the 18? That is the impression I wanted to correct. When people hear presidential flight, they think, I mean, a fleet, they think uh, all the planes are there just for the president. The presidential fleet is actually belonging to the whole government, not just the okay. uh, president and the vice president. The secretary of the government of the federation, ministers, and other important personality, even the president's uh, uh, family, the vice president's family, they all fly within the presidential fleet. Hold on, please. Sorry to cut you short. Before, um, are you tell, did you mention ministers? I don't understand. I don't get it. Even secretary government of the federation, they don't fly Definitely. commercial. They don't fly yes, commercial. No, no, no. They, within the country, they have uh, they fly presidential fleet. So there oh, really? are several planes within, yes, within the presidential fleet that they use. Wow. But the families of even the ministers. Are you talking? You're even ministers. ministers. Yes. So uh when people hear of presidential fleet, they think it's just the aircraft that is conveying the president. No. What they now want to do. So hold on, is, sorry to cut you short. Sorry, because this is it's shocking to me. Let me be frank with you. This is why Nigeria is so it's too expensive. Honestly, this democratic sex is just too expensive. Are you telling me that a minister wants to travel from Abuja to Lagos? Maybe just one or two ministers. The fleet, they, they will use the fleet for it. Yes, I'm telling you that. And there are many occasions that they have they use that. I have seen pictures where the second sec the government is flying uh, uh, one of the presidential fleets. Wow. In Nigeria, England, oh on it. even lesser officials, depending on certain issues. So what the issue is the plans that carry the president and the vice president. There are usually about two, three, which the president can fly with one flagship. Now, their issue is that those flagships have been there for so long that they need to be, to be changed. And why we cannot, in all honesty, joke with the security, with the life of the president, Considering the you know two uh, president of Iran and um, uh, vice president of uh, 
the Mozambique. All died recently in plane crash. In crash, yeah. Uh -huh. So you, we, nobody wants to see an accident involving the president or the vice president. And why we consider that that would be, or the presidential aircraft should be secure enough for the president and his family to travel with. We have to look at the whole dynamics. Let me go back to Buhari <coughs> time. He gave, a, when he was uh, campaigning, he went to Chatham House and gave a speech and yeah. told the whole world that the British Prime Minister flies on commercial flight and from day one, when he becomes president, he will uh, sell off or convert the Nigerian presidential fleet into the Nigerian carrier as Nigerian Airways. That's what he said at Chatham House. Yes. In the moment he was sworn in, and himself and his wife and children began to enjoy the luxury of the presidential fleet. He forgot about that. Uh, yeah. he, he completely forgot about that. Now, coming to the plans itself, you should know that the age of a plane is not really the issue. A plane can be 30 years, yes. provided it's going maintenance. Um, yes. undergoing the uh, routine maintenance yes. and other ones that they categorize. It is as good as uh, okay. So the age of the plane per se cannot be a, a reason to buy or to go to buy a new a new aircraft. So I don't know where they are coming from when they say this plane is old. Has it not been regularly serviced according to how it's supposed to be? If it was, it's still as good as anything. They can still fly it with assurance that it's safe and sound. But when you just oppose this, when you mix this with other prolific and uh, 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 how do I self self selfish spending of yes. this government? You now bring yourself. Is it really worth it? So it's it's not a standalone thing. This government is spending recklessly, recklessly. as if we are swimming in funds. So you have to bring that consideration into it. Do they really need this? Then you look at other examples where they are spending money unwisely on things that we don't need at this time. At a critical time, the economy is contracting. People are suffering. So you have only one conclusion. We don't need it. And just like Buhari said, the British prime minister flies commercial airline. Why can't our president? That is it. That is it. That is it. Is it you are even talking about president. My own the shock. Honestly, I am surprised. I never, I never knew until now. This is news to me. Honestly, because I didn't, of course, I couldn't have expected it to be done. That ministers are flying president, officially flying presidential fleets. Ministers, government is uh, secretary to the government federation for God's sake. Okay, secretary, okay, he's the number three or whatever. Ministers are under it, but even at that, secretary to the government of Resolution Federation, flying presidential fleet. Even the U.S. that will copy their system of governance, for God's sake. Oh, ministers, or they call them secretaries of, of uh, departments, department secretaries. They call them, that's what they, they call them there. Yeah, uh, they refer to them. Uh, uh, that is what we refer to as ministers, minister in Nigeria, whatever. They don't want to fly commercial planes, for God's sake. And that is the normal, that is the norm. That should be, the presidential fleet should be meant exclusively to the president and the vice. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand what. Ah, honestly, Nigeria. What we need in this country is honestly, it's a revolution, because these things can will not get better. These things are getting worse, getting worse every day. Look at this Tinubu. This man has come on. I when he came in at the beginning of his uh, whatever. I said I made mention. I said, look, this man is just coming to share our loot. He just coming in to share. He's not coming in to do anything. What Tinubu is coming in to let do? Me, uh, is let to me share. just add one point. Yes. Let me add one point that I I forgot. Uh, in the past eleven months, the government of President Tinubu has spent fourteen point seven billion on maintenance of the uh, presidential fleet in wow. eleven months. In the past wow. eleven months. 
Wow. Just and, to, and to purchase another one is just 21 billion. No, they have spent 14.7 billion on repair and maintenance of the presidential fleet. And by the way, when I said uh, 18, I am talking of the, it's not just the planes, the helicopters that are attached to the yeah, uh, the fleet, okay. fleet as well. It's not just the wing planes, there are helicopters too that are attached to it. 14 billion on maintenance in, in 11 months. In 11 oh months, God. in the past 11 months. That 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 is you can imagine fourteen billion just on maintenance in eleven months and now we are to even buy a new one at twenty one billion. Can, this is the level of corruption for God's sake. It's obvious that I'm telling you one quarter of that amount is not. The, it's not even. I, I don't think that they use one that one quarter to maintain those flights for in eleven for in eleven months. No, no, but nobody will tell. This is just yet they are not the government. Nobody is questioning all this for God's sake. Like I said earlier, going back to my point, honestly. This government, when they came in, I just I knew it, I said it that they are just coming in to share the Nigerian treasury, just loot the Nigerian treasury and share within themselves. That's exactly what it, what, uh, what other evidence do you need? Look, go through the like, budget, budget for 2024 budget, only, only, only gives five percent, gives only five percent to capital project. Every other project, everything is just bunch of treasury looting list of recurrent stuff that is just meant to loot the, the treasury and sort of so um anyway uh it's so unfortunate uh i think uh Shegun has gone off again i actually wanted to uh bring him in um okay why we wait for him the truth the truth is um honestly this government of uh, tinubu is just it's just a tiffing government. Let me use that word. Tiffing government. It's about or it's about theft. They are just coming to steal, um, just plunder our resources, plunder our resources even to a very. A, 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 I don't know. I don't know if I will call. We are in the we are in a comatose situation right now. That is, and yet they are still plundering. The worst part is, I think I read. I don't know what they are. They they apply for loan again for the. I think they apply for another loan again sometime this week. They, are just, they keep applying for multiple loans, left, right, and center. Why they use the, the, the money, our resources, they just fo use our fo focus on, they use our resources to focus on personal issues, personal things. Please, um, uh, Shogun, uh, can you please um, give us your thought on this crazy topic? Um, unmute your, your, your mic if you can hear me. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> um, is Shagun there? Okay. Um, yes, I'm here. Okay. Okay. Like, like I told you, your network seems to be bad. I don't know. Um, it keeps going back and forth. But can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead, please. Okay. Um, I didn't hear the. You, you asked me a question. Yeah, okay. You, um, let's know. Can you just give us your thought? You did you did you listen to Barry Samantha? Did you yeah, hear him? Okay. All right, just yeah, give did. us your thought mm. on this uh, presidential fleet thing. This 21 billion naira on presidential. You heard what Barry Samantha said that that on record they already spent 11 sorry 14 billion naira on maintenance for just for just it's just in in 11 months. Well, um, it's quite unfortunate, like we have been saying here, where we found ourselves. Um, it's quite unfortunate that we have an insensitive and inconsiderate government. At a time when they have, um, just in one year, they've created so much problems for us um, that people can't afford the basic needs anymore. They are thinking of enjoying themselves. I, I, I was on the internet for the past two days looking for a statement credited to the um, president of the Senate, that's um, God's will acquire you, where he yeah. said, yes, you know, yeah, the Nigerians are hungry, but it is more important because uh, the president is more important than Nigerians and um, he, needs to, he needs to be safe. Yes, why we agree that he needs to be safe? Is it not also important for Nigerians to be alive, for him to have a country to, to, um, to be president over? Yeah. 
So um, these are part of the things. You see, if, <clears throat> assuming, excuse me, if we, we have so much money that we can pull anything out of it to buy the presidential uh, aircraft and all that, one wouldn't have been bothered. But in a situation where we know that they're going to borrow the money to buy this presidential um, aircraft is what is even uh, more worrisome. And you see, it's quite unfortunate that we have a rubber stamp Senate uh, that seems that, um, like the Senate that um, left, that's um, Hamed Lawan, where whatever it is that the president says is what they stamp. I think, like, I, I'm still going to go back to our laws because I don't know, maybe, maybe it's written in our constitution or probably written somewhere in a law, somewhere that says that the president must have a presidential fleet and he must fly the presidential plane even when it is unaffordable. We were doing a comparison of the president of Argentina currently with our, our president. They were, they were sworn in at almost the same time. They were both elected and sworn in at almost the same time. And the president of Argentina has done so much in one year. And uh, unlike where uh, uh, um, the APC Vuvuzelas want us to believe that one year is too short for us to judge a man. A man that has come, that has put everybody into trouble by announcing that fuel subsidy is gone, a man that has refused to, to, to fight terrorism, a man that has refused to allow um, governments, um, um, state governors who don't belong to his political party to lead properly, a man that has refused to listen to the yearnings of the people who is thinking about buying a presidential, presidential uh, 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 aircraft. This is a man whose wife said to us before the elections that they are as rich, they are so rich that they don't need to depend on uh, our wealth as a country. We would have expected that the president would have flown his own private jet, for yeah, instance. Correct. That is know, it. Without, yeah, without telling anybody. That is that for me. That is sacrifice. And this is the government that has been asking our Nigerians to make sacrifices that we should need for us to enjoy uh, abundance. That we need to make sacrifice. Why is the president refusing to make sacrifice? Why are the people in the National Assembly refuse refusing to make sacrifices? Because my argument has always been, if I receive close to 50 million naira a month, I don't see any sense in me um, collecting so much and refusing to pay civil servants uh, uh, above 100,000 100, naira a month. Uh, uh, a, a couple of them, yes, in the lower house, like um, the House of um, Representatives, um, unfortunately, the son of uh, the former governor of Cardinal State has refused, for instance, to accept the 160 million naira SUV, but instead con collected the money and converted it into building schools and buying educational materials for his people, whether wrong Ooh, or right. Who, who did you mention? Is that former governor of the, the former governor of Cardinal State, that's uh, his son, Belo uh, El Rufai. You know, it's on record that he has, he, 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 the pictures are there, the stories are there. Um, they, they are not hidden. Um, instead of collecting his um, constituency allowance and flying abroad and spending money on things that are not necessary, I decided that he was going to focus on education for the less privileged. But, he has well, paid that is, that is, he's, he, I don't know. Is he elected now? Is he, is he elected? Yes. Yes, he's, he's in the lower house. He's in, he's in the federal um, house Erufai of representatives. Son, son. Son, Bello. Yes, son. He's in the house of representatives. He's in oh, the really? house of representatives. And, and for, um, um, funny enough, doing well, doing well, arguing and taking positions that represent the interests of the citizens, unfortunately. But you see, we, we, we don't seem to set our priorities and get our priorities right as a people. And that's one of the reasons why I think if some of these things are enshrined in some form of laws, and probably the constitution spells out the limits to which um, uh, 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 the powers that the president or the national, the national assembly would have, maybe we would be saved from some of these embarrassments that we have. I don't see any sense in, what are you even flying all around for? What are you, where are you going to? Honestly, your, your, country, is not safe. Good point. Good your, point. your country is not safe. Yeah, you you need, probably, uh, probably, probably a barista manta will tell you. I, 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 I was discussing with my neighbor just yesterday and we we're talking about how much it costs to get tomatoes. In my house now, what we have decided to do is to stick to greens and uh, that's take vegetables and pro probably use cucumber. I don't know how that is going to taste, but nobody <laughs> has been able to afford and uh, nobody has been able. It's funny, but it is outrageous. I'm talking about some few years ago here, yeah, we could buy a basket of tomatoes for 4,000 naira. Yeah. Now, if you're buying a basket of tomatoes, she would need to keep above 100,000 naira to buy a basket of tomatoes. A, a four balls, just four balls of tomatoes 
costs between 800 and 1,000 naira in Nigeria. What? And if you ask the farmers, they will tell you they are not safe, that they are paying terrorists before they can plant and before they can harvest. And you would expect a government to sit on all of these issues and ensure that the, the farmers are safe to go back to the farms, you know, for them to be able to cultivate their farms so that there will be food in abundance. But you're thinking about spending so much money on aircraft, flying around in your own interest, because as far as I'm concerned, it is not in the interest of the country. Of course. Do you understand what I'm saying? So these are the issues that we are facing here that is so annoying. And you have a Senate president who is supposed to be representative of the people saying that, ah, I think the president's life is more important than anybody's life. For goodness sake, if there are no Nigerians, would there be a president? If there are no Nigerians, would there be a country? If Nigeria is not safe, would there be a president? So we, 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 we seem to be getting our priorities wrong in this country. We don't think about things. Look at the, the mess they created with the, with, with the Lagos Calabar uh, Coastal Highway. Look at the mess that they created with it. Took a lot of people out of jobs. Took some of the uh, organizations who are setting up uh, businesses here. The Nigerians are employed, uh, are plugged into as, uh, as employment. Taking them off the, the shores of Nigeria. And at the end of the day, saying that, ah, oh, look, they don't pay taxes, and those people are not sincere. They don't actually love Nigeria. They belong to the PDP. They belong to the Labour Party. That's one of the reasons why they can't bear the consequences. We're talking about a government that is spending recklessly on things that we don't need. Things that we don't need, for crying out loud. Why would you spend so much money? Spend so much money on presidential aircraft when people can't feed. Why don't you spend that money to bring in mercenaries? If the military is overstretched, like they keep telling us, but the military is always present whenever they need to defend uh, these terrorists who attack people and people take up arms and to attack them back, they all, the military is always present. But the military is never present when these people are being massacred. The only time you see the military is when the people retaliate. So if you are overstretched, what is wrong in spending that kind of money, for instance, to defend the ordinary people? As I'm talking to you right now, Mr. Jubri, somewhere in Kaduna State, People go to farms on behalf of the Fulani terrorists. People go to farms. People are being raped. People are being killed for refusing to work in farms. Or for and I'm, I'm not talking about people who live, who pay to a rentage. I'm talking about people who live on, on their own ancestral land, being controlled by, by terrorists. The government is not concerned about securing their lives and their properties, but they're concerned about spending millions to, to, to satisfy one man's uh, uh, fantasies. So we keep getting it wrong. We keep getting it wrong. And it is quite unfortunate uh, uh, that these things are happening. I saw two videos. I was going to send them to you anyway um, of some incidents. And it, 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 make, it makes me worry. It makes me worry. Why? Because people are beginning to take laws into their hands. Unfortunately, they are attacking themselves. It will get to a point that the ordinary man will not have anything to eat, but the rich man. So when it gets to that point, hopefully, probably the government will think and they will sit and think thoroughly about the things that they do. Because I don't see any sense in spending so much on the presidential aircraft when this man is as rich, if not even richer honestly, than the country. Honestly, honestly. Fly your own presidential fleet, uh, uh, aircraft to show us that you are making sacrifices for the country. You understand? Leadership is not supposed to be about you going there to enrich yourself. We're talking, uh, uh, President, uh, um, um, Barista Manta mentioned uh, uh, President Buhari here. Of course, you know that these politicians, when they tell you that they are going to do A, B, C, D for you, it is to get your vote and get your support. Once they get in, they seem to forget. As a matter of fact, when you ask, when you ask the question, are your excellency, sir, you said you are going to do X, Y, Z, he will tell you he's not aware that he mentioned that, that you should show the video to him. <laughs> this was a man who watched a video of a governor a, a collecting bribe, and he said he doesn't understand the technology that was used to show that the man was taking for crying out loud. This is something that you can investigate on your something you can see koro koro with your own eyes. You are saying you don't know the technology, and they laughed it off. And the people who are supposed to be asking the questions were laughing with him, and I'm sure would have collected brown envelopes and left the place the, uh, 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 like that without saying anything. And when you approach them and you tell them, Look, you're not doing what you're supposed to do to bring a, 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 a country on the right path, they will tell you who wants to die. Nobody wants to die. Fella sang it in the song for us. Mama the house, Papa the house, Pekin the house, or your wife the house. Nobody wants to die. So nobody wants to bear the cats. And that's one of the reasons why we keep having a mountainous problem.
we keep having these problems falling on each other. How can you ex how would you expect that we have a, a disastrous government in the past eight years and we now have a further disaster that uh, is, is going for another four years now? So uh, we, we need to set our priorities. As far as I'm concerned, and I will say this, although we don't have the powers to stop this, I think it is wrong for the government to spend so much money when especially the money is borrowed, what exactly do we do? What do we sell in Nigeria to make profits? Where do we get money from, aside from borrowing money? Whenever they create a situation, they create a scenario, they borrow money and they waste the money on things that they can't show to the, to the ordinary citizens. So it, for me, I think it is a pathetic thing. I think it is wrong. And I think um, if, if I have a way, this is something that should be stopped. If the president needs to, to fly to, uh, 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 to Geneva for, for a meeting, to Geneva for a meeting, you, are we not having a meeting now on, on, on Zoom? What is wrong in uh, attending the meeting? People attend meetings, they don't have yeah, to fly. When we had, um, when we had the, the COVID virus, were people not holding meetings? Yeah. World in, in meetings and important meetings on Zoom, people were holding these meetings so that you cut off all these uh, unnecessary expenses. It is annoying. It is very, very annoying that we are, we, oh God, I don't know, I don't even know how to explain this. Oh, it's so sad, it's so frustrating, honestly, so, so frustrating and um... It's unfortunate that uh, Nigeria is this blessed, so blessed with every resources, human, capital, natural resources, all manner of resources you can talk about, you can think about. Sometimes some years ago, I wrote an article on this issue of Nigeria, how blessed Nigeria is and why Nigeria is still backward where we are, where, where, when, we are supposed to, when we are supposed to be competing with the world economic superpowers, a sort of. So... Um, but here we are. You can imagine uh, being humiliated, denigrated, demeaned, demeaned by countries that ordinarily are not supposed to be at par with us. Rather, you can imagine, I didn't even know that we are now the fourth largest economy in Africa until now. It's, it was news when I had it from by Samantha now. I thought we, we, because I remember we went up, we came first during Jonathan regime, and I know we have dropped a sort of, but I didn't know, I thought we dropped to second again. Because we were before we became first, we were second consistently for a long time, and we became second, we became first. A sort of that I thought we had dropped to second. I didn't know that we have even dropped to the fourth. Ha! Kilo de Nigeria waiting them do us. Eh? This is so it is unbelievable. Honestly, this is a country that has all these countries that are above all, they don't have some of them do not have half of what we have, the kind of resources both human, both natural resources that we have. <laughs> Yet, but because of leadership, look at where we found, we found ourselves. It is so sad. Unfortunately, I do not see, honestly, I do not see election writing all these wrongs. I do not see democracy writing all these wrongs. I am telling you, as long as we still keep holding on to, holding on to this democracy, holding on to it, I am telling you where well, because our system is the system, the, the corruption is endemic. It is entrenched. It is so entrenched, too deep, that elections and democracy cannot solve the problem. What will solve this problem is a revolution, a revolutionary government. Now, there are two types of revolution. One, a revolutionary government, and the second one, revolutionary um, citizens. That, in my own opinion, honestly, this is the way forward. This is the only way Nigeria can actually come back, become the true beacon of leadership in Africa, uh, the true beacon of economy in Africa. Honestly, otherwise, if we continue with this crazy Western world uh, uh, copy uh, 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 borrowing um, system that we borrowed or whatever, honestly, we will never, ever, ever get it. We'll keep getting worse, unfortunately. Unfortunately, the, what we need is a, a revolutionary, either a revolutionary, a revolutionary leader or a revo or revolutionary citizens. A sort of otherwise we can't yes, we can't we can we just can't get it right unfortunately um so sad i think we need to we have to call this uh, bring this to an end now except uh, but as a Manta, i don't know if you have any other point if you don't um i think we are closing this show for today no, i just wanted i just wanted to make a comparison between the nigerian presidential fleet and the u.s 
And when you consider the size of the U.S., its population, the size of the economy that dwarf Nigeria on every angle. The U.S., uh, the White House have only two planes. If the president is in one, but in 747-200 B-series, if the president is in either of them, is the cosign would be Air Force One. And they have two helicopters, Marine One. In contrast, you have uh, the presidential fleet in Nigeria have six Boeing 737, a Gulfstream G550, a Gulfstream GV, two Falcon 7X, a Challenger CL 605, six helicopters. That is two Augusta 139, four Augusta 189, about 18 aircraft. Compared just to four of the US, and look at it. Look at our economy. Look at the US. Look at the even the busy schedule of the US president and the US government. There's no comparison to Nigeria. Honestly, but look that, at what we are having and what they, they have. That is that is that brings us to this issue of copycat. Um we copy. I, I, that's my problem. I keep telling people, look, you don't you can't you don't copy someone when Every, whatever someone is doing, even either individually or as an entity or as an institution or whatever, they are doing things. <laughs> they started, they created that started that issue or that matter, that it that thing based on the situation on ground. Nigeria don't copy well. We don't know how to copy. We just copy everything because it's working in other systems. So uh, automatically, we don't believe by default it will work in our no. Uh, so you can imagine now, you just you just said that we are copying, look at the people we are copying, look at the country we are copying. We are not, we are not, we are not, we are no match in any sphere, in any, in any form or shape, not even close. We are thousands of miles away from comparison, from comparing, going, going, sorry, compared to the US. So what are we talking about? Yet we keep copying, want to copy their way of life, want to copy their, even now say we have copied their English. I don't know if you will notice that. I, I, I've noticed that most Nigerians now, they are English now, instead of the UK English. Now, now you, you are US, even me, we're there for US. Eh? Yeah? I don't, I don't, I still, I still speak the British English. I first, sometimes I meet Americans, they, so you use one terminology, they don't understand it or whatever. So I'll tell you, this is what it means. This is the British English we use, and that's what I speak. A sort of, I'm used to the British English, a sort of. So Nigerians now, you see them, even in Nigeria, I hear, watch their news, or whatever, I go to, whatever, they are English now, all their terminologies now, they, they, are, they are basically copying U, uh, 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 US, for God's sake. I don't know what we whether they take US where for us. Yeah, I don't know what, whether they take US. I don't understand. We copy everything. Their way of life. Yeah, the, everything we copy the way of their way of life here or whatever. We don't. Ah, may God have mercy on us. God, we really need help. God's intervention in Nigeria. Honestly, honestly, I hate people who copy people. Honestly, I just hate it naturally. I just I have strong disdain for people who. All, all they do is just copy other people's way of life and lifestyle. It's so unfortunate, honestly. Um, all right. I think, uh, thank you so much, uh, Barista Austin Manta, and thank you for, thank you, um, uh, Mr. Shegun Onibio. Uh, thank you for uh, creating time. Today, we are not supposed to, we're not supposed to hold it, but um, you took out of your resting schedule. Today, you're supposed to be resting or whatever, but you made that time to be here. Honestly, I feel honored. I appreciate it. And uh, thank you so much for both of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's been great being Bye. here. Bye. Yeah.